Welcome back to Deal Unboxing, and today we're going to review BMAX P2 Plus Mini PC. This mini PC cost only $200 at the time of this review. In this review, we're going to go over features, specs, some benchmarks, and also do a teardown of this mini PC. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have mini PC, power adapter, HDMI cable, an included mini PC mount to mount the PC behind the monitor or TV or on the wall, and a user manual. Now let's look at the specs. BMAX B2 Plus Mini PC is powered by 9th Gen Intel Celeron J4115 quad-core processor with base clock speed of 1.8 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 2.5 GHz. It comes with 128 GB M.2 SSD but there's also additional M.2 NVMe SSD slot and there's also third 2.5 form factor HD mount option as well. We will get to it in a minute during our teardown. It also has 8 GB DDR4 RAM, 9th Gen Intel UHD 600 graphics, 802.11 AC dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and comes with Windows 10. Now let's look at the ports. On the back of the mini PC we have two USB 2 ports, two HDMI ports with 4K resolution at 60Hz, 1 gig LAN port and a power input. And then on the front of the PC we have two USB 3 ports, one USB Type-C port, headphone and microphone jack, reset button and a power button. Then on the side of the mini PC we have micro SD card slot and there are plenty of air ventilations around the mini PC. Now let's do a teardown of this mini PC and see what are the upgradable options we have. You can access the motherboard of the mini PC by removing the four hidden screws under the rubber feet in the bottom. Once you remove the back cover, you will see the back of the motherboard. On the motherboard you have two M.2 form factor ports and one of them is M.2 2280 port and the second one is M.2 NVMe 2242 port so you can add or upgrade existing 128 GB M.2 SSD if you want. You also have an option to add additional third 2.5 form factor hard drive with available SATA port but you have to buy a cable for it because cable is not included with the mini PC. And according to documentation, you can add up to 2TB of 2.5 form factor hard drive to meet your daily storage needs. Moving on to the Wi-Fi card which is a dual band 802.11 AC wireless card and it is soldered to the motherboard so it cannot be replaced or upgraded. So if you want to access the CPU, you have to remove 4 Phillips screws holding the motherboard. In order to take the motherboard out of the case, you have to remove the back plate of the mini PC and slide the back of the motherboard outwards and lift the front side of the motherboard. But you have to be careful with the Wi-Fi card antenna cable which is taped to the top of the case for better signals. You have to take the motherboard out of the case and flip it upside down to access a CPU, heatsink and fan. Also the computer memory is soldered to the motherboard so it is not upgradable as well. But we have a total of 8 GB DDR4 memory which is plenty enough for most of the daily computing tasks and Windows 10. So if you want to clean the heatsink or replace thermal paste, you have to remove the heatsink and fan by removing the four Phillips screws holding the heatsink and fan. The heatsink and fan covers most of the motherboard and you cannot hear the fan during general usage and it was close to silent during our stress test as well. Overall, BMAX B2 Plus mini PC motherboard build quality and internals are one of the best in the business. Now let's run some benchmarks to see how well this mini PC performs. In the performance our unit came with 9th gen Intel Celeron J4115 processor. The processor is rated for 10 watts and has 4 cores with a base clock speed of 1.8 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 2.5 GHz. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage, office tasks and can be used as HD PC to handle 4K contents. Our unit scored 403 points in Cinebench Multithread CP Performance Benchmark running at 1.8 GHz, which is on par with competition in its class and interesting close to Intel's older generation Core i5 processor. And in CPU-Z Benchmark, CPU scores 791 points in Multithread and 198 points in Single Thread, which is also one of the best scores we have seen in this category. The mini PC stayed exceptionally cool during our testing. The temperatures never crossed 70 degrees during our CPU stress test under CPU-Z for 30 minutes. 
and you can barely hear the fan under stress test as well, which means cooling is sufficient enough to keep the temperature under control. In the storage solution, BMAX B2 Plus Mini PC offers good read and write rates, and it is average in its class. Our unit scored 503 megabytes per second read and 400 megabytes per second write in SSD benchmark, thanks to its M.2 128 GB SSD. But as mentioned before, you have an option to upgrade to bigger or faster M.2 SSD or add NVMe SSD for super fast speeds. In the graphics, BMAX Mini PC is powered by Intel's UHD 600 graphics. It's not powerful enough to play the most graphic demanding games, but it is good for multiplayer titles like Fortnite, Overwatch or Rocket League and can play 4K contents at 60 frames per second without any problem. The BMAX Mini PC comes with 802.11 AC wireless card that supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band. We tested the Mini PC wireless performance by transferring close to 6 GB file from a local NAS to Mini PC over Wi-Fi and our unit was able to maintain 40 MB per second Wi-Fi transfer speed, which is a very good result and ideal speed for playing 4K content at a higher bit rate without suffering any shuttering or lag. Now let's go through the mini PC BIOS settings quickly to check out the available options. On the main BIOS page, you will see the processor information, memory information, confirming total 8 GB of RAM running at 2133 MHz. There are plenty of BIOS settings to configure under advanced settings. Mini PC also has TPM2 module, so it can be used for hard drive encryption like Microsoft BitLocker to secure your data. Under CPU configuration, BMAX has done a great job configuring the BIOS for CPU, which is set to maximum performance. So out of the box, you will benefit from full CPU performance. CPU's turbo mode is enabled and boot performance mode is set to maximum performance. The CPU supports Intel virtualization technology. It is enabled in the BIOS as well. There are plenty of BIOS settings to configure, but you can leave everything to default because out of the box, BMAX has configured the BIOS towards the maximum performance. So great job by BMAX. The size of the BMAX B2 Plus Mini PC is small, measuring 4.9 inch by 4.4 inch by 1.7 inch. It can easily fit in your pocket and weighs only 310 grams. The design of the Mini PC allows you to place directly on your desk, living room, and even mount behind the monitor with the including mounting plate. Overall, BMAX B2 Plus Mini PC perform extremely well in this review. The well-built construction, strong technical features, and option to upgrade or add additional hard drives are the big plus points. Mini PC delivers full PC performance. I would absolutely recommend it on that basis for anyone looking for a personal PC without breaking the bank. Let me know what you guys think of BMAX B2 Plus Mini PC in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.